So when you first receive your printer from us, it is in S2 mode. In S2 mode means it generates its own Wi-Fi. So here we have the cover off, so I can show you uh, the Wi-Fi mode indicator light. So when you first turn the printer on, the blue light over there on the right side indicates the Wi-Fi mode. So as you can see there, it instantly went to solid on. So when I'll turn this off again, as you can see, the light's off. When we turn it on, it immediately goes solid on. That indicates that the printer is in S2 mode and is broadcasting its own Wi-Fi signal. So we can go ahead here and look at our printer interface and look for the Wi-Fi network that the printer is generating. So here it is, 3DP-10. This is our uh, Model 10 printer. This is a 10 Super. So after you connect to the network and its password is 1234567. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can then open the printer interface and type in the printer's address, which is 192.168.42.14. And you have full control over the printer. And this is the default way we send our printers out into the field. Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to change your 3D Potter printer's Wi-Fi mode. So to change those modes, you can go ahead and take the SD card out of your printer and plug it into an SD card reader on a computer. Once you have it plugged in, you should see four folders on the SD card. And we are going to be changing one setting in the config file. The config file is in the system folder and in the config.g file. We are not going to be changing the config.g back file as that it's a backup file. And instead we are going to just change the config uh, file. To view and edit this file, uh, you need to open it in WordPad, Notepad, or a text editing program. So I'm going to go ahead and right click this and hit open with Notepad. Once this file is open, as you can see here, this has all of the settings for the printer. We're only going to be changing this network mode. And on this network mode, M552 needs to be changed to S2. S1 is changing it to have it connect to your own network, and S2 makes it broadcast itself. So once this says M552 S2, we're going to go ahead and click Save. And then we're going to close, and that is all you need to do. You can then unplug the SD card, which I'm going to do now, and you can go ahead and plug it into your printer. Thank you.